Love your thing. Woo! Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. We got the brand new Purple Hammer here, review number two. We're gonna review it against a Storm Pitch Black. So why are we comparing these two? These are the two most popular urethane balls in the last decade, maybe ever. So today we got Gmo on the lanes, Mr. Two-Handed Ripper. He gets a ton of use out of his Pitch Black. It's really smooth, controllable, it doesn't hook a ton, and he uses on short and maybe some medium patterns as well. So we're gonna see the Purple Hammer go down the lane. We're gonna see how it compares to the Pitch Black. I'm thinking it hooks a little bit more and a little bit more off the spot down lane as well. So maybe those medium patterns where the pitch black just doesn't hook enough and it's a little too sharp for reactive in the back ends, this purple hammer is gonna come in real handy for him. Same patterns as Barks last week, we got 37 foot Broadway and 40 foot Mercury. 37 feet, these balls are really gonna shine. Lots of friction outside, you need smooth controllable bowling balls to read that dry and not jump on you. And then we got 40 foot Mercury. We're gonna see what this ball can do on 40 foot pattern, lots of oil and hopefully it can hook and give Jimu another option on medium. Just before we take it out in the lanes with Jimu, two-handers, they have a really easy time being rev dominant. So having a couple different urethane options in your bag is not entirely uncommon. So if the pitch purple, pitch purple. <laughs> so if the purple hammer here gives him a little bit different look, a little bit different shape down lane than the pitch black, he's for sure gonna bring both everywhere he goes. Having two urethane in his bag is gonna be fine, right? He's got a ton of revs. He's gonna be able to hook the ball, no problem. So. Having two urethanes is probably a really smart play for him. All right, enough with jungle. Let's go watch him bowl. Welcome back. Jimu is here, excited to throw the two urethanes. One from Storm, one from Hammer. Let's see how it goes. So we'll start off with trusty pitch black. This is my second pitch black that I've ever had. It's really good, controllable, and it's the, really the only urethane that I use. So bowling on 37 foot Broadway right now, before we move over. Stand at 20, because this pattern is really short and it'll hook a lot. Okay, not bad. Got it a bit further out than I wanted to, but that's okay because it rounded the corner. Maybe because the pattern's so short, ball hooks really early. So we'll throw it one more time, try to get it flush. Oh, I love that ball. Pitch black's always been my favorite. Just super controllable, doesn't hook a lot, and it's super smooth. But now, let's try out the purple hammer. This is my first purple hammer, first ever hammer ball. So we'll see how it goes down the lane. I'll throw in the same spot as that last flush strike by the pitch black, and hopefully it'll strike the same. Ooh, got a bit outside, but it actually snapped a bit harder and left a four pin went high. So this ball seems a bit stronger than the pitch black initially. We're gonna move slightly inside and see if it can strike. We'll do that one more time because it struck so nice. Ooh. Got the ball further out, just hit a bit light. So it didn't kick out the 10. We're gonna throw the pitch black from that same spot, see if it can even hit the head pin. Yeah, so right now I'm seeing about two to three boards difference. Purple Hammer was able to come back from there when the pitch black came in light and left a two pin. But we're gonna move two boards left and then slow it down a little bit, try to get it to round the corner. Flat 10, maybe a bit too much angle for that ball. So this is the perfect time to go to the Purple Hammer. Let's see if that one can strike. Outside. Ooh. That was a really bad shot. Missed about five boards outside there, but the ball was still able to round the corner. We'll flush it properly, and then we'll move over to the other path. Oh. 
definitely better for playing inside than the pitch black. All right, let's check out the other pattern. Question time with Jimu. Urethane, do you have a favorite urethane ball? I personally don't know anymore, but we'll figure that out after. But let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite urethane ball. Welcome back. Now we're gonna head over to the 40 foot mercury, see how these urethane balls do. We'll start off with the purple hammer this time. This is a bit longer than Broadway, so we're gonna stand a bit further right. Pretty good shot. I got it to where I wanted at the target and the break point, but it's still overreacting a little bit. So let's throw the pitch black on the line. Maybe it'll strike from there. Okay, that was nice, that was nice. The pitch black was able to hold its line and not jump on me in the back end like the purple hammer did. We still got a high strike there, so we'll move two left and slow it down a tiny bit. With a seven pin going late there. I did miss inside a little bit, so we'll try that again, get it a bit further out. Love your thing. Ooh. All right, I think we found the sweet spot for the pitch black there. Bit inside, bit slower speed, let it round the corner a bit more, and it's able to drive through the pocket. So we're gonna try that same line with the purple hammer, see if it's able to hold that same line and strike. I think this might jump a bit more, but we'll see. Ooh. So you can see that the purple hammer kinda wants to jump a bit more in the back end, gives it a bit more pop down lane. We got a trip four over there. So we moved two more left, same speed, and maybe that'll be the sweet spot for the purple hammer. Oh, that was a good shot. Hit the pocket, purple hammer is able to recover from there. I did miss it a little bit at the bottom though, so maybe that's why it didn't knock out the 10 pin. So we'll try to hit it properly, and hopefully it'll strike. there did miss a little bit inside but it shows that the ball is still able to hold its line and still have enough energy to strike at the pins down lane this being a medium pattern 40 feet and I'm already standing past 20 I doubt that any ball will be able to go through the pins properly if I move further left if you do want to move further left though I would suggest going to a reactive ball as that one will give you further pop down lane rather than the early hook from urethane That was a good shot. You can see that the purple ball was very continuous and it was able to pick up in the dry spot over there and drive through the pins pretty hard. We're gonna try the pitch black and see if it can do the same. Okay, okay. A little bit of a difference between the pitch black and the purple hammer. The pitch black, as you can see, it wasn't as continuous. It was a bit more flat off the spot when the purple hammer was able to pick up and drive through the pins really hard. This ball is so good, I think I can strike on the other side of the pocket. So we're gonna throw a backup ball, see if this strikes. Yeah! Back to the shot! <laughs> Back from the lanes. First off, thank you so much to Brunswick. They sent me this purple hammer ball and I know I'll definitely use it a lot in the future. Urethane. Personally as a two-hander, I believe and I was always taught that I need a urethane ball. Mostly because of the high rev rate, a urethane is one of the only balls that you can play right of 10. For the most part, straight up the boards. So for the past four years, I've been throwing this pitch black by Stork and I really like it. As I set out on the lanes, it doesn't really hook too much, it's very controllable, and it never really gets me into trouble. I always use this pitch black on fresh, short, medium, mainly because it controls the shape down lane and it keeps the ball in play. Today I was given my first hammer ball, and what a ball it is, the new purple hammer. In my opinion, I'm gonna throw this ball a lot. As you saw on the 37 foot pattern, it was able to round the corner, I got it outside, to the break point of like three and it was still able to strike. So I felt a lot of trust throwing this outside and having it recover. Comparing it to the pitch black, I found about three more boards of hook, which is really good for those tough situations where the pitch black is not hooking enough 
and reactive stuff is jumping and hooking too much. I'll be using this ball on a more wide variety of patterns. And then we tested it on 40 foot mercury. I wanted to try it out on a medium pattern length because as a two-hander, I have enough rev rate where the ball can still corner on more than just short patterns. And I found that this ball was really good on it. As you can see, I was playing within 10 boards, throwing it slow on the inside part of the lane and piping it from the right side outside part of the lane. And this was my first time throwing it today. So even if I need more hook, I could put a 500 pad. And if I need less hook, I could put a 4,000 pad. So a lot of versatility I can see already in the near future. Now this isn't to say that this is gonna replace my pitch black in my tournament bag. I would say these two balls are different enough where they bring multiple things to the table. This ball I can hook a little bit more and around the corner and this one better for high friction houses and for staying right longer. For the tournaments with short patterns, I'll be taking both of these balls so I can have multiple options to attack the short pattern. In conclusion, there is a reason why so many people love this ball and now I finally know why. It's smooth, controllable, and hooks a lot for a urethane ball. If you have a pitch black and you want something a bit more that's still urethane, I recommend this purple hammer. Thank you for watching JR Pro Shop Vids. Stay tuned for our next video.